Welcome back to my channel. I hope y'all can hear me because the fan and the AC is on which is just what I have to do down here because it'd be too hot. However, my room be sounding like a damn warehouse so there's that. Actually, since in here is a little cool, it's nighttime, I'm gonna turn off the fan so that when I'm editing this there's not too much background noise. We'll see if that works. Hopefully the baby don't get too hot. I'm gonna make this quick because um, this is kind of just like an introduction to a series that I'm about to start so quick disclaimer if you're a guy watching this and you're not comfortable hearing about the menstrual cycle feel free to turn this off however I do think it's important for men to understand a woman's menstrual cycle so also feel free to watch okay um, I am about to get, I wouldn't say TMI, but we're gonna get into details. I gotta hurry up because I need to turn that fan back on. But, um, and I know y'all can still hear the AC in the background. My goodness, it's horrible. Where do I start? So, as you know, I had a baby last year. Last year, May. I breastfed, I'm still breastfeeding. So, I have not had a cycle, a period, not a cycle, I have not had a period since before I got pregnant with him up until this year July so he turned one in May and I got my first period again in July we're not gonna get into why I didn't get my period and all of that if you understand a woman's body you know that when you're breastfeeding it definitely takes you longer to get back your period after giving birth anyways that's neither here or there my point of this video is that Okay, so I got my first period in July, and then I got it in August. I did not get one in September, and then I got one in October, and then now November. So today is actually the first day of my menstrual cycle for November. And I'm recording this video today because what I'm about to do is actually intentionally track my cycle. So since I started getting back my period, it's been whack like very wacky and that happens after giving up giving birth sometimes when you start back getting your period it needs to regulate again you know your hormones are actually still regulating up to two years after giving birth as well so things are gonna naturally be out of whack so that on top of the fact that sometimes I go through very stressful periods not periods but like stressful times and I know that as well can affect my cycle. Also lately I've been, I haven't been eating as, okay I eat very healthy, but every now and then I while out. And wiling out for me may still be healthy for someone else, but for me it's still too much on my body. So all of that put together definitely affects my cycle. So the period I got in July was okay. It was not heavy. Well, it wasn't too heavy. It wasn't long. Like I think it lasted like four days. And um, I don't get cramps and stuff anymore. The pe my, my period in August was 10 days late. I wouldn't say late, but what I've noticed is that it's been coming every 39, 38 days. So I'll get my so day one will start again after 38 days that is insanely that's an insanely long cycle so that is one alarm for me as to why I know I need to do what I'm do, about to do right now I didn't realize that until October because remember I just started getting back my period in July so it took a few it took a few cycles for me to understand what was going on so and this is why it's very important to pay attention to your period a lot of women just look forward look forward to their period every month because it's the one sign to tell them that they're not pregnant but the health of your period is a clear indication on the health of your womb so it's very very important to look at all of the details like everything um, 
from how you feel before you get your period how you feel during your period your flow the color of the blood everything you need to pay attention uh, pay attention to because it's all information it is literally all information so after my third period i was like okay if my period is going to be coming every 39 days that's a very long cycle that's alarming for me even though i know that it's going to take time to regulate just um, after giving birth I still want to be proactive and keep you know start doing things intentionally to help regulate my body regulate my cycle naturally I have my own steam schedule where I steam three days before my period and three days after my period sometimes I steam a little longer depending on what may have take, taken place that month but <coughs> for the most part I steam regularly now um, so that's one thing I implemented that's I'll you will find out that has been helping so right before I know my period is about to start I try to withhold from eating too much starch too much gluten too much um, and I wouldn't even say junk food because I do not eat junk food like while out to me would be eating some roasted salted cashews I know crazy right but that's wilding out for me um, i like salty stuff when i am when my period is coming so i am because i know that i try to make sure that okay because i i like salty stuff before my period is coming i'm not going to just indulge in a bunch of chips and junk i'll get some roasted salty cashews or some pistachios and that's good i'm fine uh why am i saying all of this okay let me let me bring it together let me bring it together right now I want to take y'all on my journey of how I regulate my cycle and hopefully this would help others so if you've noticed that your your period is completely irregular or you have a very long cycle meaning your cycle is longer than 28 to 30 days I would say 32 days tops then you need to take that as information you need to balance out something internally so for me because i know that is multiple things i just gave birth last year i um i'm now a single mother of three small children so there's times that i'm extremely stressed and overwhelmed i eat pretty clean like i eat very clean for the most part so i know my eating isn't much hasn't don't don't affect it too much um but i also know that I do be stressing sometimes and I know for sure that affects it uh, what else I exercise regularly so like I know my main thing is the fact that my period is just now starting again after giving birth that's my main thing but still I want to help it along its journey so that it doesn't take too long to regulate I want to know exactly when I'm ovulating I want to know exactly when my period is coming every month I want to know everything because it's important it's important whether you're trying to get pregnant or or if you're trying not to get pregnant it doesn't matter you still should know exactly when you're ovulating exactly when your fertile window is exactly when your period is about to start you need to know everything and a lot of times you should be able to just feel it in your body but if you're not there yet we're gonna work towards that so here's the thing the list of things that I'm going to be doing and if you want you can follow along so I'm sharing what I'm gonna do so that you know if you're watching this looking for insight to help regulate your own own menstrual cycle you can do it as well first thing first I'm gonna continue steaming that's a given I already steamed my three days before my menstrual cycle started now so I started what I'm about to share with you I started last month because remember I noticed my cycle was long by my third period which was in October last month so my herbal tea mix I'm gonna share some herbs that you can drink that's one two having a steam cycle whether you choose to steam once a week or three days before your your period start and three days after your period ends that's on you I do the three and three but you can do once a week you do not steam while you're on your period while you're 
during your flow days you do not steam at all so the herbal teas steaming and I now do my basal my basal body temperature every morning I keep my my thermometer underneath my pillow I actually moved it cuz my baby was messing with it but I bought this so I keep this under my pillow and every morning when my alarm go off I take my temperature and I jot it down into my period app now <clears throat> for period apps here's my suggestion here's my suggestion cuz there's a lot of I'll say holistic herbalists or whatever out there telling women you know stop using the apps because you're just giving them all your information which is true because it's true but if you're on social media if you post on social media if you have a phone at all they have a whole bunch of information on you and I'm not saying that as an excuse because there is also ways to protect yourself in those cases but how I fight the reason why I still use a period app is because I am I make sure to only use the ones that do not share your your data with third parties and it would say that once the data is staying local I find it I I feel more comfortable using it so I found this one period app because a lot of them most of them especially the popular ones they share your data they share your data with third parties so the one that I use is called my calendar I'm gonna see if I can show y'all how it look on here I don't know if it's gonna uh, yeah you see that it's saying my calendar the red app right there so that's the one I use right now I was using another one before this called equal or something like that and I didn't really like how it was set up it was it's, it was very secure extremely secure but it just wasn't giving me the options that I really wanted so as you can see here it says first day of period right there yeah mine started this morning when I woke up around I'll say like seven o'clock in the morning minutes to seven and I love this app because you can put everything in here and then they have when your cycles start they have the option to like show your level of flow so you can put there how heavy or light your flow is okay this video is turning out to be longer than I wanted it to be but anyways so let's recap real quick okay herbal teas yoni steaming basal body temperature every morning at the same time the purpose of the basal body temperature is you've got to take your temperature before you come out of bed so set your alarm so that you do not forget that's why I have an alarm as soon as that alarm come on I take my temperature and sometimes I just go back to sleep or if it's time to get up I actually get up uh, I track everything on my app so I enter my temperature every day into my app and then the last thing I'm going to be doing I'm going to be using ovulation ovulation sticks so that I can start understanding exactly when I'm ovulating because right now because my cycle is so long I can't just assume that I'm ovulating before between day 14 and 21 of my cycle I can't make that assumption because my cycle is long a healthy cycle usually lasts around 28 days and you would be ovulating between day 14 and 21 and um, but if that's not your case then you have to figure out exactly when in your cycle you are ovulating so that's my goal right now as I work to bring in down the length of my cycle to a healthy 28 to 30 days I am also going to be using the ovulation sticks so that I know exactly when I'm ovulating so um, the basal body temperature and the ovulation sticks together is what's going to help me figure that out because your temperature if I'm not mistaken I'm your temperature spikes right after you ovulate okay now the fan is back on I hope y'all can hear me maybe I can turn it off again real quick let's see okay I just want to explain the basal body temperature method a little more clearly so what happens is your temperature dips 
your temperature dips slightly right before ovulation so right before the egg is released from the ovary your temperature dips and then once it's released then your temperature spikes so taking your basal body temperature how that helps is and when you notice that dip in your temperature that's information to tell you that okay I'm about to ovulate and then when you see that spike in your temperature that's to tell you that okay I've already ovulated so usually when women are trying to conceive they use that method to know exactly when to have sex in order to ensure that their egg gets fertilized by the by their husband or partner's sperm so women who's not trying to conceive use that information to tell them okay don't have sex or use whatever safety precautions because you know i could possibly very likely get pregnant if i have sex right now so right now because i started last month remember i told y'all that my period was coming every 38 days so day one would start on the 39th day i don't know if that's making sense to y'all but that's a very long cycle my period starting today it actually started shorter so what i am doing already is working um so it has already shortened by three days let me just make sure so it it has already shortened by three days so it ha it came on the 36th day if that makes sense so they this is day one of the cycle now so my cycle was 35 days instead of 38 that makes sense i hope it makes sense to y'all so um and that made me excited because like i said my goal is to bring it down to a 28 to 30 day cycle so um i'm getting there so i believe in the next three months i will meet my goal so i'm gonna just continue doing what i'm doing with the herbal tea that i'm drinking um, I'm going to record a different video to get into the herbal teas because this is already too long. So stay tuned for that. And um, the herbal teas, the yoni steaming. I'm a, I have a video on my channel already showing you how I herbal steam. Oh, and the womb massages. That's the next thing I've been doing at least two to three times a week. I do my womb massage with my womb massage oil. And although you can do your womb massage with any oil, I specifically love my oil because it's actually infused with herbs and essential oils to help what's going on right now. So listen, I did my womb massage. See, all of this is in my app, which is why I track all of this so I don't have to try and remember. So I steamed for three days last week and I actually was gonna steam again three days this week but like i said i'm steaming more than my normal three before and three after just because i am trying to shorten my cycle and regulate that so um i steamed three days last week and i was actually going to steam three days this week starting tomorrow but it came today which is perfectly fine because that means what i'm doing is working hopefully it comes another three days or four days earlier next month so then it's giving me it's bringing me closer to a 30 a 28 to 30 day cycle instead of a 38 day cycle which is insane anyways <laughs> let me stop rambling i could talk about this shit all day because i just i love learning about stuff like this i love talking about stuff like this so and it all coincide like it's literally the core of your womb health your menstrual cycle that's the core of your womb health it tells you everything you need to know so we're gonna get into it we're gonna get into more details as i continue on my journey and recording these videos and sharing information but quick recap herbal teas yoni steaming womb massages basal body temperature um ovulation sticks those are the five things that i am using anyways to all of my melanated women protect your womb by any means necessary and to everybody watching protect your peace 
by any means necessary i wish you all love light and prosperity and you'll see me in my next video Sit on that throne, queen. Know you got that goddess energy. It's in your soul, queen. Manifesting your reality.